Hello everybody and welcome back to the Simpax YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over some awesome effects and cool things that you can make utilizing the Shockwave VFX packs from Cinepax. Now in today's video we're going to be utilizing the full effects pack but we're going to be releasing a free sample pack alongside that pretty soon so you can grab that for free and follow along with us today. So head on over to the Cinepax website, search for the Shockwave VFX pack and any other packs that you want to download, add them to your shopping cart, and download them right now for today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can overlay these to make cool titles, how you can rotoscope some people to make some cool explosions behind them, and then we're also going to be messing with particle displacement, which is such an unpredictable and crazy thing to work with, but it's really fun when you get it right. So when you first download a pack from the website, they're going to come in separate zip folders. I personally like to unzip every single one individually and then combine them all into one folder that then I come into our media tab in DaVinci here. I find that folder in our media browser, which is right here, and then I just drag it into my media pool. And now, just like that, we have our Shockwave VFX pack. Now I always work in a 1080 timeline because all these clips are 4K Apple ProRes. So a 1080 timeline, you know, allows me to zoom into these without losing any resolution, which is what I love to do. So we got a bunch of different cool things that we can mess with here. But I believe the Shockwave 02 is going to be included in the free pack if you're following along with us. So I got a basic title here, which you can just make by going in the effects tab under the title section. There's a text right there. You just drag that in, customize it over here, which is exactly what I did in our expector over here. But let's add a cool explosion behind this. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to drag it behind this text right here. And as you can see, it's already looking super sick. And that is because I have under our settings tab right here of the text, I have its composite mode set to difference. So that's going to, you know, manipulate and make those really cool colors with the text. However, let's also make this bigger because obviously that is not big enough for us. Let me close that metadata tab. Let's bring up our zoom and then let's bring up the, the Y that way it's a little more centered and let's play that real quick. Ah, very cool. I like that a lot. All right. Now, if we wanted to, if you have the full pack, we can go and find maybe another one that we can overlay on top of the text. So let's maybe like, I like this one right here. Perfect. Drag this in. Ooh, nice. That looks cool. I like that a lot. All right. But we can make it even cooler. So if I drag this down, let's go over to our effects. Let's add a quick, um, what do I'm looking for? I think it's under the toolbox. We're looking for a adjustment clip. Perfect, right there. So we'll drag an adjustment clip right there, and let's just let's just add a little glow to it, you know. So let's just trim that so the text pops in with the explosions, and then let's go over to our effects again. Type in glow, glow, and I believe it's under Open VFX. There it is. So drag that in, and look at that. It's glowing, perfect. So let's just keyframe that. Uh, the shine threshold and the spread we'll keyframe both of those and let's bring them up so i think the spread we want just like that and the shine threshold let's bring that down right there perfect to zero and then we'll have it fade away so we'll go a few clips and then bring it all the way to one that way nothing nothing meets the threshold perfect and that gives it a nice little explosion a little a little glow to it awesome now if you wanted to change the color of any of these you can click on your clip, go over to the color tab, and make sure you have your clips tab open here because sometimes it selects the topmost track, which is not what we want. We want our explosion, which I believe is this one right here. Not that one, I want this one. Cool, so if I have this selected, I can go over to our little wheels here and I can change the hue just like this. Let's make it, I kinda, ooh, it kinda looks like the Demogorgon, very cool. <laughs> All right, I'm very happy with that. And you can see there's another example of the exact same thing right here. All I did was overlay a different effect on top of our titles and it looks really sweet, nice. Alrighty, on to the next thing. We're gonna go over to a Cole Bennett music video here and we're gonna try to spice it up by adding an explosion behind our 
artist. Now, uh, in order to do this, we're gonna have to do some rotoscoping. You can either do it in Fusion or the Color tab. We're gonna do it in the Color tab today. So, I'm gonna hold down Alt, I'm gonna drag out and duplicate this clip because we want this explosion sandwiched between our actor and the background. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this top upmost clip here and we're gonna take that into the color page and we're gonna rotoscope him out and that will be our topmost layer. To rotoscope in DaVinci, we're gonna make several masks. So I'm gonna come over to our mask editor right here. I'm gonna grab a little polygon tool and we'll just, we'll start with his head. So in order to zoom in, I'm just gonna scroll. I'm just gonna go, well, not with his head. I'm gonna go with his body. We're gonna go like this and we'll go like that, 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 and that, and there. All right, perfect. Now, all we're gonna do is go over to our tracker then and we're gonna click the play button to track and see what happens. All right, that wasn't bad, that wasn't too bad at all. Now, obviously that gave us a head start on his body and we're gonna do each individual part of his body as quickly as we can. Obviously for the sake of time in this tutorial, I'm gonna speed up and I'm gonna you know, do the best job that I can, but we're gonna do this repeatedly. Now that gave us a cool head start, but we have to go in and adjust this now. So right now we're doing each individual part of his body. I'm doing his body right now, and then I'm gonna do this exact same process for his arms, for his head, all right? But we're gonna switch this to frame mode right here. And what that's gonna do is if we make any changes, DaVinci is going to just basically change that per frame. If we were on clip mode, if I move this mask, it would affect the entire mask for the entirety of the clip, which is not what we want. I'm trying to change it on a frame by frame basis. So I'm just going in every few frames and I'm just, I'm just moving his body. All right, and I've made a really rough outline of his body. All right, if we had more time, I would spend more time on this, but let's go back to clip mode. That way we are affecting the entire uh, clip. And we're gonna go back to our mask editor and we're gonna add a little bit of softness to it. That way it's a little feathered. And let's click this so we can actually view our mask. We'll just click the off button right here. And we can see our mask. I want to we're gonna do the inside feather like that, just a little bit. There we go. And then ever so slightly, I'm feathering a little too much. There we go, perfect. Then I'm gonna turn this off, go to the plus curve and just start the exact same thing, but with his head. Alrighty, everybody, we are back with the best rotoscoping job you've ever seen in your life. Now, in the full version of DaVinci, there's actually a magic mask option, which I do have the full version, so I'm gonna go ahead and utilize that, where you do a rotoscoping technique similar to Premiere Pro, where you highlight and basically paint your actor. Whichever method you choose to rotoscope, you're gonna have to eventually right click here and click Add Alpha Output. So, once you have your alpha output added, connect it to this little blue dot here, and then head over to the edit page. What that allows it to do is actually have that transparency show up in the edit page. So if we play this through now, boom, we got an awesome explosion here behind our artist. But before my computer completely explodes, I wanna add a little bit of a camera shake to this. So let's just click on this. I have my camera shake up in the open VFX pack and I'm just gonna drag it right onto the bottom click. Now, let's click these two here and let's click D to disable them temporarily. That way we can just focus on our bottom clip. So right around right here, I think, I'm gonna go to our effects tab. I'm going to keyframe our camera shake. I'm gonna bring everything down to zero and then I'm gonna go forward one frame and bring them up to a very high, uh, high values. So let's bring up our motion and right there. And then as you can see, there's some black bars that will start showing up. If I go forward a little bit, you can kind of see the edge is clipping a little bit. So to fix that, we want to increase our crop down here. Perfect. All right, so now if I press play, there you go, cool. So we press play and then bam, it kind of hits. Now I'd like to increase that a little bit. So let's go back. Let's increase our motion scale and our motion speed. So let's press play. Bam, okay, cool. So as you can see, it starts out smooth and then it hits that, that motion shake, you know, starts hitting, hitting the clip. So let's click D to re-enable these clips again. And then let's come back over to our top one and we need to paste, as you can see, the camera shake is not on our top clip. So click Control C to copy the effects on the bottom clip, then click Alt V, 
Alt V to bring up this window. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste the plugins only, which our plugin is the camera shake. Click apply, press play, and now it all lines up. Cool, all right, well, I'll render that out in the final product and we'll see how that looks. A quick side note, it also look a lot better if you manually track the explosion to match up with the background. So if I switch to our transform here, and if I just go frame by frame, let's try to track this dot. That way it lines up with our door on the, sorry, the hood of the car. So I'm going frame by frame, a few frames. I'm just moving this so it lines up a few more frames. Okay, now it's shaking and everything. I'm gonna just try to kind of wing it. I know where I want the explosion to be. Move it a few frames. That way it looks like it's in place. It's following our our uh, artist and it'll look cool all right so the last effect that i want to show you guys is an awesome thing called displacement now what we're going to do is we're going to utilize these uh, particle effects as a basically a displacement map to displace other clips in this case the clip that we're going to be displacing is our music video here so I'm using Particles 12 overlaid over this clip right here, which looks really cool just by itself, but we're gonna spice it up even more. I'm gonna go ahead and drag in some Letterbox, which I'm actually gonna be using from our Anamorphic VFX pack from Cinepax, just a little shameless plug right there. And I'm gonna drag that on top. That way these particles are gonna be like over overlaying on top of these black bars, which I always love breaking like the 3D atmosphere, you know? The next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold down Alt and create a copy of this. And then we are going to drag these two and combine them into a fusion clip. New fusion clip. Then let's head on over to fusion. All right, so inside of our fusion clip, I'm gonna grab our first media in here. I can press, press one to toggle its view over here. And this is our clip. So I'll press F2 to name it clip. And then we'll come over here to this one. And then this will obviously be our particles particles since it's the only other one there so let's go ahead we'll delete this merge node and what we're going to do is we're going to add a displacement so i'm going to click shift space bar while having that selected and click in displacement all right dis uh, or display sorry and let's go ahead and attach our particles in the foreground which is the green input so you can already see a few a few little things are happening here and what it's doing, like I said before, it is using these this effect right here, the luminosity of this effect, to displace pixels on our clip. So let's go ahead and talk, mess with the settings. So I'm gonna bring up our refraction strength up really high so we get a really crazy and wavy um, kind of effect here. So we'll bring it up, I don't know, Let's. I don't wanna go crazy high, we'll bring it up to like 0.5 around that size. Now this may sound a little wacky, but I wanna add the black bars into this as well. So I'm gonna use a 1080, uh, 2.35, drag this in. I'm gonna drag this right there to add a merge node. And if I press one, you'll see there's our black bars. They're added to it, perfect. So if I press two, you'll see what that does is it allows the, the particle effects to go over the black bars. It looks really neat. Awesome, cool. So back in our edit page, we got this, which is looking really sweet. I like that. However, I like to then, we're doing a lot of layers here. Uh, I like to layer that particle effect back on top of it, which I believe if I remember correctly was particles 12. So let's just drag it right back on top. See if we can make it line up, which I think it's like right there, sort of. Okay, very cool. And then as it swaps over to his face, I'd like to get more of like an ambient sort of particles dissipating. So we'll use particles nine, which is perfect for that, which is like right here. We'll trim it a little bit. He spins, goes to his face right there and bam. I'm gonna also go to our particles 12 here. I'm gonna change it to add and I'm gonna bring our opacity down. By doing that, it gives it a really cool little effect there. Sweet. And then maybe I want to start it with full full opacity, so we'll animate it. So we'll go to full opacity, go a few frames forward. Once that explodes, bring it down to like a point four or so. Perfect. Look at that. That is a sweet transition. Like, oh my gosh, I love that. That is sick. 
cool oh man that is gorgeous i hope you guys enjoyed making that that is super cool um and then this is what if we disable uh this is what it just looks like by itself obviously it's very cool it looks neat but this is what it looks like with the displacement on it as well that way it actually stretches the clip itself very neat all right awesome Alrighty guys, that just about sums up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did. I love making these effects and it was a blast making that displacement effect. In case you couldn't tell, that's my favorite one and it's so cool. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy messing around with these things. If you guys want to mess around with more VFX packs from Cinepacks.com, head on over to the website and find our free packs. Also, use the promo code on your screen to get a discount on your next order. With all that said, I hope you guys have a great day and as always, have a rad time editing. Bye guys. Thank you.